All right, Dave Gould is back again here at Manifest with yet another special guest. We have Dan Hendricks from Bloodhound Tracking Device Inc. Welcome, Dan. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me on the show today. Absolutely. I'm Dan Hendricks, I'm with uh, Bloodhound Tracking Device Inc. and uh, we monitor all non-powered assets. Okay, yeah, and we just met uh, today actually through a uh, good friend Joe Lynch and you've got quite an interesting story uh, with the military background and then up until what you're doing now. Can you just give us a quick backstory. Yeah, sure. So I did uh, 21 years in the United States Coast Guard. I was a maritime enforcement specialist. I uh, boarded a lot of boats in my career and uh, did a lot of container inspections and things like that, counter narcotics and a lot of presidential security. Uh, very, very fun job in the Coast Guard and appreciate all my time there. Okay, and then how, how did you transition into your, uh, your firm? So I ended up applying to USC, University of Southern California, got a business degree from there. And uh, I'm also part of an organization that helps special operators transition into meaningful careers. So uh, they've actually connected me with my current boss from Bloodhound, and uh, we had an interview, and he liked my background, and here I am today. Okay, okay. And so you're, uh, what was really fascinating, too, is this the type of technology that Bloodhound has. Can, can you just tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, yeah. So uh, I'll start out with the communication suite. So it was brought to us by a NASA engineer. He was an engineer for them for around 30 years and uh, he developed a communication system in space and now has brought it down here to us and uh, it handles latency and disruption better than any other GPS on the market. Okay, and specifically with the containers, because you were telling me too, like your time in the Coast Guard, there's so much fraud that goes on and so much smuggling, yep. right? And so how, how does the Bloodhound device eliminate all that? Yeah, so we, uh, we're two things. We have uh, an outside unit that's covert uh, and that's patented, so it looks like the container. And then we have an inside uh, ver uh, part as well that monitors the inside environment of the container. So we monitor humidity, we monitor uh, chemical levels, we can tell if people are in the container, so that's very valuable. Also, uh, we can tell if narcotics are in the container, and, tw and Q4 of 2025 will have a uh, fentanyl sensor, and it's gonna pick up uh, fentanyl at a very, very high level, so we'll be able to see if there's anything in our containers like that. Attention e-commerce sellers. Is fulfillment a headache for you? Whether you're fulfilling in-house and you know you need to outsource, or you're with another 3PL and you know you deserve better service, Easy DC 3PL can help. We offer personal service, fast response time, and we're flexible to meet your unique needs. Get in touch today and find out how we can help you. Okay, well, and clearly that's been in the news a lot lately. It's a, it's a big problem, and a lot of things are being done to combat that problem. Yeah. Um, okay, so who, are, who is the, the, the people that benefit from this technology, the, the, the ideal customers for Bloodhound? Yeah, so the ideal customer is anybody that has a non-powered asset. That's going to be a trailer, a chassis, or a container. And then anybody who's moving product, uh, high-value products, so uh, you, anything that's going to be stolen, electronics, things like that. Uh, also food items, we can monitor the inside environment so we can tell the temperature. Okay, and, and clearly another big story in freight is all the fraud over the, the, the double brokering and the yes. stolen loads. And I mean, it seems like there's not a lot of regulation and it's, it's been very challenging for the good guys to keep up with the bad guys. Yeah, I agree. I guess is a way to say it. Yeah. And the, the industry really has to police itself. So how how, how is uh, like Bloodhound, you know, how, how do you help uh, in terms of leveling the playing field? Yeah, I think uh, something unique we bring to the playing field is uh, when you breach the container with our device, it'll take a picture of you. So if you're a nefarious actor or anything like that, they're going to they're gonna be able to pick you up. So if you're breaching that container and you're not the right person, your picture is going to be uploaded to that dashboard. And that sounds like a game changer. It is a game changer. I don't think there, there is not another product on the market that's taking a picture of you upon a door breach. Okay. All right. And another point you brought up too with this other group you're part of is they, they help special operations op uh, officers and uh, transition yeah. into civilian life. Yep. So how, how big of an issue is that? Oh, that is a, a so I actually uh, 
consult for another company. It's called findafit.com. And uh, we help veterans transition. And, and it developed from the Honor Foundation. My, my business partner is a Navy SEAL. Uh, he's also at USC right now. Uh, we just bounce ideas off each other, and uh, I told him about USC, and he's like, I got to go there. And he's there now. And uh, so what, what we really focus on is uh, trying to help people actually find a career that's going to be meaningful for them. And I think I found that here at Bloodhound, and I want everybody else to enjoy that as well. Because the Coast Guard did so much for me, I wanted to find something afterwards that did the same, that basically fulfilled the same feeling for me. Yeah, and so important. And clearly, like, the special operations community community are like some of the best uh, talent there is. Oh period. yeah. I mean the guys are just amazing. They'll do anything for you. And I, I mean the same for me. I would they're amazing people. Okay, excellent. All right. And so if people want to learn more about um, this this transition group, how, how can they get in touch with them? Yeah, so I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn, Dan Hendricks. Daniel Hendricks, you'd have to search my, my real name, but I go by Dan. And uh, so LinkedIn. And then you can also go to our website, it's, uh, btdtracker.com, and, uh, and find me there. Okay, all right, excellent. And it's Bloodhound Tracking Device, Device Inc. Inc. BTD Tracker. That's right. Dot com. That's right. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, Dan, thank you so much for taking the time and, and sharing your story. And uh, best of luck with everything. That you thank do. you very much, Dave. I appreciate you having me today.